This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a wooden frame for your photos. So here, let's have a look here. Usually, uh, wooden frames, uh, I tend to think that they're better applied at celebratory um, photos. Um, so something like weddings or anniversaries or graduations and things like that. Things that you would, you know, put behind like a wooden frame, basically. So that's my opinion of it. <laughs> Maybe for you, it's something slightly different. But anyway, so we're going to learn how to do the wooden frame regardless of the occasion. So what we need to do here is I just bring up our layers palette, double click on the layer to transform it into a regular layer. And now we're going to go into image canvas size. And uh, in the case of this image here, it's quite a small image here that fits our screen here. I'm just going to add the width and the height of 50 pixels. Now you just, depending on your size of your image, you want to might want to add more or less, but you want to add an equal amount um, to both. So you just want to add enough. And basically this will be the thickness of your wooden frame. So if you wanted something thicker, then you add more than that. If you wanted less, then you add less than that. I think this is a good mix right here in between. Not too thick, not too thin. And uh, what we want to do here is just add a new layer now. And now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be filling in the... Um, the whole layer here, but we're not going to we're not going to be filling in with uh, the foreground or the background layer. So we're not going to use any of our shortcuts here. We're going to go into edit and fill, and uh, we're going to actually use here pattern. So instead of probably for you, it'll be something like the foreground color would be selected. You want to go in here and select pattern, and in the custom pattern, you want to select this pattern here, which is the uh, the wood uh, pattern that comes uh, by default in Photoshop. So we're going to select that and uh, click OK, and that'll just fill it in with this wood pattern. Okay, now what we want to do is, of course, just um, transform this into just the frame. So we want to cut out the center bit here. And the way that we do this is just uh, go ahead and hold down Control. You see that your mouse, mouse icon here on the hand changes. As soon as we click on it, we can see that that's the amount that we want to take off. Now we want to take this off uh, a little bit differently. We want to invert the selections. So we, we can go into Select and Inverse here, or um, Shift, Control, and I. And then we'll just add a layer mask, which is a lot better than deleting things in case you want to do something a little bit different later on. So we'll do that right now. And uh, in the um, in our uh, wood uh, frame here uh, layer, we want to add some effects. So we want to go into the effects here and add some bevel and emboss. And with bevel and emboss, what we want to do here is change the style um, actually, not here, the technique, sorry, from smooth to chisel hard. Now, as you just pay attention here to how it looks right now, smooth, if we change the chisel hard, it starts looking a little bit more like the properties of wood, right? Now, what we want to do is perhaps you can play around with a few things. You can play around with the depth so that, uh, you know, things will get a little bit, you know, how much of the, the contrast here of the wood. I think that the depth works pretty well around 100%, 150, or thereabout. So something like that would do just fine. And then also the size, how much of the bevel you want to add here. Of course, you don't want to go something like this. You just want to add something like three pixels or five pixels, nothing too drastic. So I'm going to go with four pixels. And the other thing you want to look at here is um, how much of this is actually being highlighted. So let me just, right now things are at 75 and 75. Let me just turn them down to zero so you can see what we're doing here. Uh, the lighter stuff, as we bring it in, you can start seeing here the lighter stuff right here. Bring it in so we're at 92% here. And then also the darker part right here, we're starting to bring that in. So you can play around with how much of this darkness and the lightness you want to play around with, how much you want to bring that in to play. Uh, you want to bring them roughly equal or about 10 apart. You don't want to go too much in. So something 70, 60, 50% thereabouts will be just fine. So something that looks good to you. This is looking all right. So as far as the uh, beveling uh, effect goes, I think this is working really nice. Now I want to change the color of this wood. And the way we can do this is by going to color overlay. So we'll take that and then we'll change the blend mode here to uh, color burn. So I'm going to go into color burn. And with color burn, it allows us to tint the, the, the wood darker. So I'm going to be uh, tinting it darker. So I'm going to here select... Uh, sort of like a nice brown here, and you can see that the uh, the color is looking really nice, and the, the tint of this, I think, I'm, I'm quite liking this. So you can do this uh, and uh, select OK. So we'll just select this like this darker wood, 
just darker varnish okay and uh, now what we can do here inside of the photo itself on the layer of the photo we can go back in here and add inner shadow to the image so there's a little bit of a shadow there we're just gonna change down the opacity just slightly here to 60% instead of 75 so it's a little bit more subtle and uh, there we are so we have our photo frame if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you